Today marks one year since the Supreme Court ruled same-sex marriage legal across the country. KXAN's Anna Warnicke takes a look back at the landmark ruling, the celebrations and the backlash some say followed. Celebrations erupted across the country and thousands of same-sex couples rushed to the courthouse to legally tie the knot. It was amazing to watch the day that love actually won. Individuals in my community were saying, wow, we won marriage equality. We're done. But Andres Araiza says June 26th marked the beginning of an entirely new battle for gay Texans. A gay Texan can go try to have dinner and that business owner could deny them services because they are gay. Right now, Texas is one of 28 states that does not include gays and lesbians in their statewide non-discrimination law. And Ariza says some state leaders, like Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, are still fighting LGBT acceptance. He's attacked by transgender friends with this ridiculous debate about potty policies. He's in fact told Texans that it's okay to treat me differently because of how I am born. I have a ruling on it for sure. I'm just trying to get There's no special weird or different or unique thing about gay marriage. It's just marriage. One year later, the celebration the continues for like this Austin this couple. The two um, recently tied the knot, making their four-year relationship official. The, it does feel different. It feels better. It feels more real. It feels more valid. Marcus and Heath say Texas is moving in the right direction, but there's still a long road ahead. Anna Warnicke, KXAN News. Less than two months after the ruling, the state said 25,000 same-sex marriage licenses had been filed in Texas. That's roughly 4% of all marriages in the state at the time.